Picture this, a dimly lit room, the flickering glow of a vintage movie projector casting shadows on the walls. The year is 1951, and you find yourself in the midst of cinematic history, experiencing the captivating tale of Ace in the Hole for the very first time. The black and white images dance across the screen, pulling you into a world where journalism, morality, and the human condition collide in a riveting dance. As the credits roll, you can't help but reflect on that initial encounter with the film. Perhaps it was the magnetic pull of Kirk Douglas' performance, the sharp dialogue that cut through the tension, or the moral ambiguity that left you questioning the choices of the characters. Ace in the Hole wasn't just a movie, it was an exploration of the complexities that define our humanity. Do you recall the palpable sense of anticipation as the plot unfolded, revealing layers of truth and deception? Maybe it was the unexpected twists that left you on the edge of your seat, or the haunting realization that, even in the 1950s, the issues it tackled were uncomfortably relevant. Whatever it was, Ace in the Hole left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Now, let's delve into the depths of this cinematic masterpiece. Behind the scenes, nuggets of information weave a tapestry of trivia, enriching our understanding of the film's creation. So, buckle up as we uncover the intriguing facets that make Ace in the Hole not just a movie, but a timeless exploration of the human experience. 1,951 Seconds Ace in the Hole, A Desert Odyssey, and Cinematic Cynicism in the 1951 film Ace in the Hole, a canvas desert water bag hangs on the front grill of the car driven by Totem and Herbie. These bags, once common in desert travel, cooled water through evaporation, serving both as a hydration source and a remedy for an overheated auto radiator. The original shooting location, precisely 2.7 miles east of the Arizona, New Mexico border on State Highway 118, showcases coordinates 352,353, 6N, 1,090,112, 0W. Now on private property, the empty cliff niche, just 200 yards from the highway, holds historical significance. Paramount invested $30,000 in constructing replica cliff dwellings inside the niche for the film. Notably, the film's unapologetic cynicism repulsed 1951 audiences, resulting in significant financial loss for Paramount. Writer, director Billy Wilder, despite acknowledging its negative impact on his career, later deemed it one of his best creations. Ace in the Hole encapsulates a desert tale intertwined with automotive survival, and a film that left an indelible mark on cinematic history. Its remote shooting location and the iconic water bag contribute to the film's gritty realism. As audiences grappled with its cynical narrative, the movie, over time, earned recognition as a daring and enduring piece of cinematic art. In the 1951 film Ace in the Hole, directed by Billy Wilder, a notable link to another Wilder work surfaces. The movie introduces a character affiliated with the fictitious Pacific All Risk Insurance Company, mirroring a similar presence in Wilder's earlier film, Double Indemnity. An interesting behind-the-scenes anecdote involves actor Kirk Douglas, who took issue with Chuck Totem's monologue about missing New York City. In a 1950 memo to Wilder, Douglas objected to the absence of pastrami, garlic pickles, Madison Square Garden, and curiously, the mention of Yogi Berra. Douglas, unfamiliar with the New York Yankee star, sought clarification, prompting a humorous revelation by his secretary. Legal drama also shadowed the production, as actor Victor Desnay filed a lawsuit during the scriptwriting phase. Desnay alleged that the film, centered on the plight of a man stuck in a cave, was an unauthorized version of the Floyd Collins story. Disney, holding the rights to Collins' tale, claimed copyright infringement. Despite Wilder's appeal, the California Supreme Court sided with Disney, and Wilder's legal team settled the matter by paying Disney $14,350. These intertwined elements add layers to the narrative of Ace in the Hole, underscoring the film's complexity both on and off the screen. The film's exploration of media sensationalism and ethical quandaries finds resonance in its behind-the-scenes conflicts, making it a fascinating piece of cinematic history. In 1951, the movie Ace in the Hole, initially titled The Human Interest Story, hit the screens. Directed by Billy Wilder, the film took a gritty look at journalism and human nature. Amidst the production, a memorable line, I don't go to church. Kneeling bags my nylons surfaced, credited to Billy Wilder's wife, 
Adrian, and added a touch of humor to the film's somber theme. However, things turned bleak post-release. The movie received harsh criticism and ended up losing money. In a desperate attempt to salvage the situation, the studio, without Wilder's consent, rebranded it as the Big Carnival, hoping to lure more viewers. The gamble failed. To compound matters, Wilder's subsequent project, Staleg 17, turned out to be a success. Yet, Paramount, citing the losses from Ace in the Hole, refused Wilder a share of the profits, leaving a bitter taste in the director's mouth. This behind-the-scenes drama shed light on the ruthless business of Hollywood, where even a celebrated director like Billy Wilder faced the harsh realities of box office failures. The twists and turns surrounding Ace in the Hole revealed the tumultuous nature of the film industry during that era. In retrospect, Ace in the Hole remains a cinematic testament to the unpredictable nature of success in the movie business, showing that even a renowned director couldn't escape the pitfalls of an industry driven by profit. Residents of Gallup, New Mexico, found themselves on the payroll of the 1951 film Ace in the Hole. For a wage of 75 cents per hour and enduring 10-hour workdays, locals served as extras with an extra $3 incentive if they brought their own cars to the set. It was a small town's brush with Hollywood where dusty roads and desert landscapes became the backdrop for a cinematic tale. This film marks the second instance of a character affiliated with the fictitious Pacific All Risk Insurance Company in the Billy Wilder repertoire, the first being in Double Indemnity. Wilder's thematic consistency in weaving insurance-related elements into his narratives reveals a recurrent exploration of risk and consequence in the human experience. The original shooting location, situated precisely 2.7 miles east of the Arizona, New Mexico border on State Highway 118, remains a testament to the film's tangible history. Coordinates 352,353. 6N, 1,090,112. 0W pinpoint the now private property where Paramount once invested $30,000 to construct replica cliff dwellings inside a niche, visible 200 yards from the highway. The echo of cinematic creation lingers in the arid landscape, a silent testament to the intersection of fiction and reality. Ace in the Hole stands not only as a movie but as a marker in the geography of film production, etched into the terrain where narratives unfolded, and extras earned their 75 cents under the desert sun. The legacy persists in the coordinates, where Hollywood once shaped a barren landscape into a stage for storytelling. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Ace in the Hole, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this 1951 cinematic masterpiece has had on your own cinematic journey. Billy Wilder's storytelling prowess, Kirk Douglas' commanding performance, and the gritty narrative of sensationalism and human nature, these elements combine to create a timeless work of art that beckons introspection. Have you ever found yourself torn between the allure of sensationalism and the moral high ground? Does Chuck Tottom's unrelenting pursuit of a story at any cost resonate with the choices you've made in your own life? Perhaps you've witnessed the fine line between journalism and exploitation that this film so brilliantly portrays. Now, let's open the door to your memories and reflections. What emotions did Ace in the Hole evoke within you? Were there specific scenes or characters that left an indelible mark on your heart and mind? Share your thoughts and experiences with us, for it's through these personal connections that we deepen our appreciation for this cinematic gem. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us, delving into the intricate layers of Ace in the Hole. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. We look forward to hearing your cherished memories and thoughts about this film. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, stay inspired and engaged with the world of storytelling.